Sadhguru, uh, you said the greatest dharma is to forgiveness. I did not say that. <laughs> Dharmaraya said that. No, even he did not say it. Okay, in the Yaksha Prashna. In the Yaksha yeah. questions. But there are people, you keep on forgiving them, they keep on erring. How long are you going to forgive them? It all depends what's your idea of forgiving. If your idea of forgiving is forgetting, then you're heading for a big <laughs> life is going to mess you up. Forgiving is not forgetting. It's very important in your life. The sweetest moments in your life and the bitterest moments in your life, you never forget, always remember. But forgive means you don't carry bitterness in you because it destroys your life. How to act with the one who commits this crime upon you or somebody else, that is as it is required. So sometimes forgiving means embracing them. Sometimes forgiving means rehabilitating them. Sometimes forgiving means imprisoning them. Sometimes forgiving means hanging them. Sometimes forgiving means maybe you'll have to butcher them on the street. You may be shocked that I am saying this, but anyway when situations go out of control, Anyway, you will do it, yes or no? Suppose somebody walks into your house, started st slaughtering your children and your family and everything, will you take whatever you get in your hand and hit him or no? What are you looking… You oh, Sadhguru, how can you say this? Will you do it or not? That's it. This does not mean you're thinking how to butcher somebody. This does not mean you're thinking how to hang somebody you're first seeing how to embrace him. If it doesn't work, rehabilitate him. If it doesn't work, restrain him. If it doesn't work, hang him. If that also doesn't work, you'll have to butcher him. Depends on the situation. Action depends on the situation. Don't have premeditated action, that's a crime. Premeditated action is crime, isn't it? You already decided what to do. This is a crime, you are not considering, you are not giving the necessary chance to the other human being because you are already decided what to do. If somebody does this, what to do? Somebody does that, what to do? No, you don't decide that. Somebody may do, do this today, we may handle it this way. Somebody may do the same thing tomorrow, we may handle it another way. Somebody may do the same thing day after, we may handle it a completely different way. This depends on the situation in which we exist, isn't it? So forgiving means that you do not carry any bitterness in you, that you will not act out of resentment, you will act out of what is needed for the situation and whatever is needed. That's Mahabharat. Whatever is needed, he will do it, but there is no bitterness in his heart. There is no enmity, enmity in his heart, there is no stake, there is nothing to gain, nothing to lose, just doing what is required to be done. That is Mahabharat, that is Krishna and that's forgiving because there is no bitterness in your heart. But forgiving does not mean you won't do what's needed. That means you have forgotten what happened to you. That's the biggest problem with this country, we forget. We are not forgiving. Forgetting, forgetting means poor memory, that's not a virtue. Poor memory is not a virtue, isn't it? You remember every bitter moment of your life, still you don't carry bitterness in your heart, that's forgiving.